Considered perhaps the greatest men's water polo player the U.S. has ever seen, Tony Azevedo's career almost never happened. Born in Brazil, he overcame a life-threatening neck injury as a child to emerge from water polo rich Long Beach, California. Taught the finer points of the game by his dad Ricardo, a longtime player and coach, he became a prep star Long Beach Wilson. Azevedo made his Olympic debut at the 2000 Sydney Games. He then embarked on a transformational run with the Stanford Cardinal that saw him win two NCAA titles and set an unbelievable record of four straight Catino Awards as the college game's best player. He returned to the Olympics in 2004 while launching a pro career that spanned more than a decade, capping up for top clubs across Europe and Brazil. In 2008, he captained a U.S. team that returned to the Olympic podium for the first time in 20 years, earning silver in Beijing. He continued as captain at the next two Olympic Games, ending his career in a full circle moment back in Rio in 2016. He remains entrenched in the game as the co-founder of 6-8 Sports, which merges water polo and technology, while also conducting camps and clinics around the country. First time I felt that he had what it takes to be pretty good in athletics when he was about seven and eight years old. Um, you know, he had a very bad injury when he was around four or five. And I thought his dedication to get back to where he was doing uh, really showed me that he, he really did have what it takes for him to push that hard. Tony was a little kid that was always around Long Beach State when, we, when I was a 10 and under, a 12 and under with Ryan Bailey and so on. Then when I went to Long Beach Wilson, you know, playing under his dad, I missed him by a year, but he was always around. And that was one of the things that I cherished most was finally having the ability to play with Tony when I was on the national team with him because I always just missed him. And he absolutely was a water polo fiend. He spent more time around the pool than anybody and he was exposed uh, uh, to the greatest coaches and players uh, in our sport. For someone like Tony, you know, he came into Stanford pretty finished, polished player, but there's always room you know, to, to get that, right? And he knows that, and he knew that, and it was really trying to find those areas for him to improve, not just to be a great player here, but for the next step internationally, so he can have a long international career. So it's nailing down his nutrition, his weightlifting, and then small pieces of the game to, uh, uh, that need improvement. And, and that was hard to do, hard places hard to find to where he needs uh, improvement. And that makes you better as a coach, to actually sit down there and analyze him and what he needs to do. So I'm proud of everything that he's accomplished. Um, I get to watch from a distance to see what an amazing father he is and what a great person he is. And that, to me, is, is just as important as him being a, a great water polo player. And I'm just fortunate that I was able to coach him for a few years. Tony, from day one, was always respectful, humble. Uh, he always strived to be the best, but never by stepping over people. Always by showing the determination, by uh, working specific, and but more important than all that is that he was never frustrated when things didn't go well. Uh, his answer to frustration was always like, ask a question, go back, rework, and try it again. I have always believed that, you know, it's not about trying, it's about doing it. Do it, it doesn't work, do it again. He naturally had that same mentality. We were some of the young guys on junior team together back in, what was it, 96. Um, and so getting to learn a teammate so well that by the time we were in college together, we just knew where each other was going to be. And he's so creative that it only heightens your creativity. You know, I was the, the alternate in 2004 Olympics. I was the guy that got, got injured a bunch, got cut a bunch. And uh, I remember when they started training for the 2004 Olympics, I still couldn't get in the water from my surgery, but I brought my mat out to the side and wanted the guys to see him hey, rehabbing. I'm trying to make it back. I'm still part of this team. And every day he kind of gave me some encouragement. You know, every once in a while it was a slap that I needed. Every once in a while it was, you know, the hug and the words of encouragement. Uh, he's definitely good at knowing what I need in those moments. But it kind of culminated in opening ceremonies. Tony kind of pulled me back, pulled me to the side, and he really wanted it to be a great experience for me since it was my first, his third. And he really purposely 
tried to make me feel even extra special and you know and i don't even know that i've ever shared that with him but it, it's, it's it's a very fond memory the exposure he's had in different countries and different styles of play has allowed his water polo IQ to be very in depth and very, very creative and be able to tie different styles from all over the world and try to figure out what's the right combination of those. And that's where he's living constantly. And it, it's really, really fun to be a part of. And we'll be just talking normal water polo. And next thing you know, he doesn't know this. I go try exactly what he was telling some kid to do. So it's pretty cool to be learning from Tony Azevedo the best and be able to apply it into the game now. His passion for the sport and desire to grow it on both the men's and women's side is, is contagious. And I think the ability to, to reach as many kids as his business does is impressive. And I think just like his leadership style in the pool, uh, the goal is always the same, continual learning, continual improvement, pursuing excellence, and trying to really create passion. Honestly, Tony has such a huge impact on youth athletes that he doesn't even know he has. He gets to know the youth athletes. He genuinely cares about who they are and where they want to go and how he can be a part of their journey and help them get there. So it's pretty amazing to have such a role model and an idol actually be one of your biggest fans. And that's, you know, who Tuni Azvedo is for these youth athletes. I'm committed to helping him in his new ventures, which are really incredible for our sport. For me, it's beyond an honor because Tony, without a doubt, is the best that we've ever had. So Tony, congrats, I love you. And I cherish all of our moments together in the pool, but I love what we're doing now. And again, congratulations.